am the vine. Mm, mm. And, and you know who you are? He says, you are the branches. Tap somebody and say, hey, branch. He says, I'm the vine. And they didn't answer you. Tell them again. Say, hey, branch. Let them holler back. Hey, branch. You need to understand, we are wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in the true vine because we are the branch of the living true vine. Somebody ought to holler, I'm a bad branch. Say it again until you get in your spirit. Say, I'm a bad branch. You don't understand. Huh? Revelational identity is key to prosperity. You must know that you are an extraordinary branch. And you must know how vital you are to the vine. Because the purpose of the vine is to bear much fruit. But the vine can't bear fruit unless the branch is in place. Somebody will holler, I'm a bad branch. You need to understand you so extraordinary that even the true vine says, I don't even want to bear fruit. I could bear fruit without you. I could just say fruit be. But I have decided that you are so special. You are so critical. You are so vital that I don't even want to think about bearing fruit unless I got my branch. Come on. Big bees, are you with me? He just want to know if the branch is with me so some fruit can come out. Uh, tell somebody some fruit by to jump off up in here furthermore he said you can trust God in the process because his purpose is for us to bear fruit in verse 1 he says I am the true vine uh, and the father is the gardener he's the husbandman he's the vine dresser he's the owner He's the big baller, shot caller in your garden. You hear me here? He, he's the gardener that makes sure that we, the branches, have everything that we need. Somebody ought to say, he's got me covered. Now, what I like about him is he owns the vine. But he's not an, uh, he's not an offshore corporation. And in, in other words, uh, uh, he, he owns you and he ain't somewhere in a corporate office, you know, having video conference. <laughs> See, God is right there in your situation. He's, he's at the head of the boardroom of your life. <laughs> God is right there, bro. He knows every hair that's numbered on your head. He knew when the first one turned gray and he knows what the last one gonna look like, y'all in here in me. God is in your stuff and he takes care to usher you and orchestrate your process so that your process is not in vain. He, he gives a personal touch. Somebody holler personal touch. Aren't you glad that God gives a personal touch and, and that God is right there? Come on y'all. Y'all know when it's your garden it's your stuff. How many of y'all had a grandmama or, or, or granddaddy or somebody who had a, a garden and you didn't go in their garden? You, you didn't go in their rose garden? You didn't go in their tomato garden? If, if your ball just fell and rolled on over there, you'd leave it right on over there because you don't want nobody to jump off on you. Okay, y'all folks was nice. You don't hear me. God makes sure that the vine with its branches gets watered, gets flourished, talks to it. Somebody will just give God praise because God is taking care of you. Somebody holler, he's with me all the time. Okay, Rev, why is this so important? Why would you hang there? It's, you have to know that God is with you and that he's an on-time, in-person gardener. Because the process and the pathway to prosperity does not always feel pleasant. Oh, I'll let your boy help you real good. good. God, God is the owner. He doesn't delegate because God wants to make sure that when it hurts sometimes, he's right there to put some salve on it. Put Y'all ain't hear me. He says, look at what it says. It says, God, verse 2. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes it so that it will bear even more. 
No, no, wait, wait. In other words, I told you this thing is progressive. And, and it seems to progress all the way in this chapter from, from, from no fruit to some fruit, to more fruit, to a whole bunch, a lot of much of fruit. Is there anybody here wants a whole lot of fruit? I mean, if, 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 if I'm, if I'm going to go to the vegetable garden, I might as well just get all of the stuff that's there. Somebody holler, I, I don't want a little, I want a lot. <laughs> Say it again, it's all right. He's a God of abundance. I want extreme fruit. But the process of prosperity is progressive. And, and I need to check now. Y'all sure y'all want it? Y'all sure y'all want it? Their degrees. And it's time for you to go to the next level. Somebody ought to just receive it. Say, I receive it. It's the year of the more than enough. It says, so he cuts every branch. He prunes every branch. When, when a gardener prunes a vine, he or she is, is taking care to remove all the superfluous stuff. All the dead stuff that's getting in the way of you bearing fruit. Somebody ought to just say, he's just cutting off the impurities. He's, he's getting rid of the stuff that's getting in the way of you going to the next level. That's why some folk have fallen away from you because God said they were dead weight anyway. And, and he said, I'm trying to take you to the next level. Let them go. And they thought they broke your heart. You don't understand. They broke you free from their emotional chains so that you can fly to the next level in God. Tell somebody, I'm going higher up in here. I'm about to go. Aren't you glad that you serve a God that won't let you live beneath your potential too long? Sooner or later, he gonna make you maximize the you that he made you to be. Only got five of y'all. I don't know about you, but mediocre ain't comfortable for me. I'm ready to always go to a next level. If I'm at one level, I wanna go to five. If I got some, I want some more. I get used to progress. 